altri eh, mercati, i vostri film sono stati esportati in maniera in molto importante all'estero, eh, la mia generazione è sicuramente cresciuta con i, con i film inglesi di quel periodo, eh, eh, Secret, Bu- uh, Secret and Lies di, di Mike, Mike League, eh, i film di Ken Loach eh, eh, e poi ovviamente gli autori che lei ha citato. Eh, alla fine degli anni 90 lei prima di Shakespeare in Love fa un altro film molto importante che colpisce subito l'attenzione internazionale. Come, 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 come nasce la mia regina? Come nasce? Come nasce? Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown in inglese la mia regina. No, ma lei ha citato tutti i titoli, Maria Angela. Eh? Lei ha tutto scritto in tutte le lingue anche... <ride> Avevo capito un qualcosa tipo Gin, no? No, no, ah, no, allora, ma allora quello è un problema di pronuncia, è un problema di pro- della mia pronuncia, chiedo scusa. Um, well, Mrs. Brown is actually again a, a credit to the BBC in a way. The BBC had um, a series of films which went under the title Screen One and um, these films Uh, started to follow a model that had been created by Channel 4, which were films that were essentially funded by television, um, made on television budgets, essentially. But part of their uh, structure was that they, there was a window for theatrical release. So the films were made <coughs> for television, given a, a brief window when they could be released in the cinema, and then eventually shown on television. Uh, quite common now, perhaps, but it was very uncommon then. And uh, the BBC, which had a slightly different funding structure, which uh, initially didn't allow it to do that, started to follow this model. And um, Mrs. Brown was a film that was commissioned by the BBC, by B- BBC Scotland. It uh, uh, was my first association with uh, Judy Dench, who then was not an actress known outside her own country at all. Um, she was a, a legend in the theatre, but not as a film actress, <coughs> and didn't think she could do it. Um, and, um, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Dunque, la, eh, per la mia regina devo essere grato ancora una volta alla BBC, devo riconoscere appunto l'opportunità che mi è stata eh, fornita dalla BBC. Eh, apparteneva inizialmente ad una serie di film eh, denominata Screen One. E seguiva un po' un modello che era già stato mh, forgiato da uh, Channel 4, eh, cioè eh, di film finanziati parzialmente con capitali eh, televisivi. E la struttura di questi film era che essi dovessero comunque essere eh, realizzati per la televisione ma poi anche per le sale cinematografiche, cosa che Uh, è attualmente abbastanza diffusa, uh, soprattutto appunto film che vengono uh, elaborati per il cinema e poi ne viene fatta una uh, riduzione televisiva, ma all'epoca non era proprio qualcosa di usuale. Inizialmente la BBC non permetteva di seguire questo tipo di modello, ma poi ha deciso di uniformarsi anch'essa e quindi la BBC Scozia in particolare ha... Um, investito su questa realizzazione della mia regina eh, con protagonista Judy Dench che all'epoca non era particolarmente conosciuta all'estero, era conosciuta in patria ma eh, soprattutto famosa in teatro e quindi inizialmente io non credevo che ce la potesse fare. Um, it's interesting about Mrs. Brown actually about, you know, you might ask what makes a television film, what makes a feature film and uh, that film was uh, seen by Harvey Weinstein, who, who then ran Miramax Films, who I'd known before because he'd bought another film I made for release. <clears throat> and he saw the film and called somebody, you know, 15 minutes into the film and said, I want to buy this, take this off the table. We thought he was not interested in the film at all. He was calling his friends or something during the screening. Um, but I, I, I look back on it and wonder what, what about it uh, made it stand out apart from its subject matter, and I think it's also partly to do with the casting. <clears throat> I mean, Judy Dench is, of course, a genius, as the world now knows, and I knew it then because I knew her work on stage, but it's also the combination of Judy and Billy Connolly, who you won't know so well over here, but Billy Connolly is a very, very well-known 
a stand-up comedian in, in uh, the UK, Scottish uh, comedian, completely anarchic, uh, stands on stage in front of 4,000 people and makes it up as he goes along and has never, had never played a straight role before that. <clears throat> and he's completely anti-establishment figure, very, uh, very, very, very strong presence in, in the British consciousness. Um, and so th somehow that combination against Judy Dench, who emblematized certain qualities, uh, you know, wisdom, stature, uh, regality, um, as an actress, that combination 